Hey everyone, this is Kent with Inventomark, and I'm going to go be going over this pump. Ah, that was a lot. <laughs> I fixed this pump with a part that I 3D printed, and I want to see how well it's handled and stood up over time, over the course of well, several months. I don't know if you can see in there, but it's a little red part that I made. That's where you printed it and put it in there, and the pump still works. It ran for a long time, but it looks like it, the other seal broke on it, so I need to print another part out for that. It goes in there, because what happened before, it was just like this, and it was kind of corroded. I don't know if I can get that out of there. Oh yeah. yeah, it's just a little thing I 3D printed, a little part here, looks like it turned out pretty good, it didn't wear or nothing, that's surprising, it's just a tiny little thing I printed, I'll have to print another one to put on the other end here, doesn't really fit in there very well, but <laughs> on that side, the other side it didn't fit very well either, but it made the pump work. It was a little bit loose in there, but it still pumped. Looks like this one's bad too. I'll have to print another thing out and put it in there so we can use the pump again, but for the most part, yeah, it lasted quite a while. It seemed to work because there's just the bearing that goes on there and the bearing that goes on the other part. It's a lot of corrosion in there but it's just you look down in there it's kind of what happened to it but yeah the, where'd it go <laughs> PLA from what March to November held up really well don't see hardly any wear or nothing seems to be good hmm well that's all I really had for today thanks for watching